Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of h 30 k Media. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, this video, I wanted to focus on my 2018 Honda Civic, uh, the 10th generation Civic. Um, for many of you guys out there that are looking for like a practical car that you wanted to drive and uh, you know not have experiencing any problems uh, for the long term, there are a couple of things I wanted to point out now that I kind of noticed um, the little quirks and some of the um, defects, uh, I should put it. Uh, most, most of it has to do with the interior, but also um, the air conditioning system actually went out on my car and it's only been two years and for those of you guys that know or did some googling or some research um, there's a TSB uh, A19091 to be exact I'll post a uh, description right up here um, Hana is actually under a lawsuit for this and a lot of people have had issues with their AC going now most of it has to do with the condenser um, but they released this TSB to fix and extend the AC warranty up to 10 years. But there is a caveat, however, that if you think that your AC is having issues, you have to provide the VIN number to the dealer or Honda Corporate, which I both did. And unfortunately, that VIN number that I provided does not match the one in their system. So I am not covered under that TSB um, warranty to get my AC fixed or looked at. Now keep in mind that I am over my two-year warranty period so if I were to fix everything it had to be out of my own pocket so um, nevertheless let me take you guys around and uh, we'll take a look at some of the issues that I wanted to bring up and uh, so you guys are aware if you're gonna be looking into buying a 10th generation SIG. So about two years into owning the car um, three days ago when I turned on my AC I noticed that it was blowing warm air it was blowing warm air from this side right here, over here on the left side, and it was also blowing warm air on this side as well. So um, I was like, what's going on? Like, could my AC be broken? Could I be out of Freon already? There's a lot of factors that I could have taken in, you know, and, and you know, say if you don't drive your car for a while, your Freon will go, a bit, go down. Or if you um, left your AC on, you're driving it all the time, then your Freon's, your Freon or your refrigerant is gonna be used up. But I noticed on this side right here, it was blowing semi, semi uh, warm air, but not as warm as on this side. So I did a little bit of research, did some Googling, and uh, I checked my AC system with a 1234YF. That's the new uh, refrigerant type that's in these newer cars. And um, it was on low to empty, so I pretty much refilled it and topped it off. Um, but it's a little bit troubling, you know, to, to wondering why my refrigerant would be going out so quickly and um, it could be a leak could be something somewhere um, a lot of people on the forums have said that the condenser might be going bad but since my VIN number was not part of the system when they looked up uh, my car I would assume that I had the newer part the newer condenser but it's just not really confident uh, confidence inspiring to know that your AC went out so early uh, you guys can see here right this is the front left hand side driver side of the bumper you guys notice that it's kind of like off a little bit you see how when I run my finger up it's not smooth there's a gap right here and over time I noticed that I guess after a year of owning the car this started happening and this could be just like you know minor wear and tear or the heat in like the in the bracket behind the bumper that's holding it in place but uh, in most Hondas that I've driven um, this is, has to do with like quality control or like just cheap parts or like a defect not that big of a deal because I can push it back in. It'll come out once in a while. But if you guys get this part right here, I did some research, and it is Honda Part 71190-TBA-A00. This is the bracket that goes, that holds a bumper to the car. And I think these tabs right here, these tabs actually went bad. Um, there's a couple of fixes on the forums on YouTube where people can actually uh, fix this, but I'm gonna take this out. I haven't had a chance to take off the bumper to take a look at it yet, but here's a close-up of the part number right here. So if you guys have this issue and you guys need to replace this or fix it, take a look. And uh, yeah, give you guys a, a more close-up angle. Like you see how it's kind of like pointing out a little bit? It's not flush. And when you're buying a new car and you're taking really good care of it, it's kind of a bummer to see stuff like this happen. Now, the question you have to ask yourself or I have to ask myself is if I had known about this problem say two years ago when I was making a decision to buy this car would I have still bought it? And the answer is 50-50. I'm not really sure but now that I have the problem there's really not much I could do about it besides fix the problem or sell the car, right? And I recharged the refrigerant. Um, keep in mind you have to buy the 1234YF, 1234YF uh, which is more expensive. It's about like 
forty-five dollars per bottle versus just like uh, twenty bucks for the regular refrigerant in the older cars. But I mean, if you guys are thinking about buying a Civic, keep that in mind, you know. And I hope that this problem doesn't come back. I hope that by just topping off the refrigerant, that it was just wasn't filled up from the factory. Um, the condenser looks fine. I looked in it to see if there's any cracks or anything in the grooves, but I didn't see anything. So um, I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, just keep in mind, and uh, you know, hopefully you guys out there are going through the same thing I am, that you don't get too stressed, because buying a new car can be a lot of money, and just to have the AC go out within less than two years is just really, um, it's like a red flag. So let's, let's keep uh, each other posted, and if you guys have any questions or comments, please post down below, all right? Thanks, guys. I'll see you guys later.